Hey guys, so today I'm answering the question, what do you do if you're a man and your wife's family is toxic? So there's two ways we can go about this. It, one is if her family is being toxic and mistreating you. The other way is if they're being toxic towards her. So let me first deal with if they're being toxic and mistreating you. So what you wanna do if, if your wife's family is mistreating you, communicate with your wife about it first. And when you do this, don't insult them. Don't make accusations about them. You don't want to be calling them on the B word or calling a dad an a-hole or whatever. That's just going to cause more hurt and cause a fight. Share how you feel. Share how their behavior makes you feel, how it affects you. And then say, I would like us to have some boundaries here. So you can say, hey, uh, when, they, when your family does and says these things, I really don't appreciate that. I don't like it, what have you. I'd really like us to have some boundaries. And now here's something else you want to say is, um, would you like to be the one to set those boundaries or would you prefer that I do it? And the reason I say this with women, it can be harder for them to stand up to their families. Uh, with men, it can be just as hard, but I do notice that with women, it tends to be a bit harder. And as a male, as someone who, you know, whether you agree with this or not, I do believe that men were more designed to be protectors and uh, kind of like loving initiators. And so it can be easier and be more effective for you to set those boundaries. So, but just check with her, see what she's more comfortable with. And then if she's not willing to do that, if she's not hearing you, she's not listening to you, um, I would try communicating that as well and saying, hey, I'm not feeling like you're listening to what I'm saying, I'm not feeling like you're, I'm being respected here, um, and see if that helps. You might need to see a counselor together. If you do, make sure it's one that is familiar with these types of situations. Um, some counselors, if they're not, that can be more harmful than good. So just make sure that if you're going to see a therapist together, that they uh, are familiar with how to deal with this. If she's not open to that, if she's not open to changing, then you need to start having boundaries with yourself. And that can look like not telling her what to do or anything like that, but you saying, hey, I'm not comfortable with how they're treating me until we can have these boundaries. I'm not comfortable going over there. I'm not comfortable having visits. I'm not comfortable ha having them over to our house until we can have some boundaries about this or at least be on a road to making progress. So hope that helps with that situation. Now, as far as if they're mistreating her, I would have, again, have another conversation and you say, hey, honey, I don't, I'm seeing how they're treating you. I don't really don't like that. I love you. I care about you. And it hurts me. It bothers me to see other people treating you like this. And I can't sit back and allow it. So be respectful of her feelings, but also I think it's completely okay to be like, hey, I'm not okay with this. I'm not gonna sit by and let this happen. And so what you can do then is say, would you like, same thing, say, would you like to say something or would you prefer I step in? So there's no other option there. It's not like, hey, can we do something about this? It's, no, something's gonna happen here. Would you like to stand up to them? Would you like to say something? Or would you be more comfortable if I did? If she's not open to that and they, um, and she's, because she's so tied up and enmeshed with her family, she feels like, you know, she can't say anything, she's not ready to, then again, I would suggest seeing a therapist together, seeing if she's open to that. Either way I would, if she's struggling with that, I would suggest seeing a therapist together that's gonna help her out. Um, and then also if she doesn't want you saying anything, um, and she's not wanting to, then I'll, well, what I'd suggest then is saying, okay, I'm not comfortable. Again, I'm not comfortable going over there. I'm not comfortable with them coming over here until we have, can have some boundaries with this because I'm not okay with you being mistreated. So it's going to be pretty much the same as if they're mistreating you and they're mistreating her. Both people need to be valued. You need to value yourself. You need to value your spouse. Um, so hope that helps with that. If you have any questions, if there's something you want to ask me and make a video about, go ahead, leave a comment below. If you want to give me a thumbs up on this video, share it with someone who needs it, would really appreciate that. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.